Greetings travelers and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank my friend Elena Zambelli for the art that she is allowing me to use in my channel. I really appreciate it and if any of you want to see more there is a link in the description below. Go there, support her, she is fantastic. Okay so back on topic. In my previous video I talked about the foundation era in the Age of Dreams where the orgs built their civilization on the backs of human slaves and ultimately it collapsed where the humans, after the revolution and slaying their masters, went back to the plains to become barbarians, and the elves started to build their own civilization in the forest of Sylvanesti. In this video we're going to talk about the time of light, that it took place over 3000 years and it is a lot more packed with events. I'm going to bring to you all of the big stuff that happened over those 3000 years. Let's start! Okay, so we begin with the Chosen of Rorix. Remember in my previous video when I talked about the god walking among the humans and collecting the ones with the inclination towards creation? So these guys pissed him off. Not surprising. The Smiths, as they were called, grew too prideful in their skill of the forge and they forgot about Rorix. In retribution, the god curses them and turns them all into gnomes changing them into short folk who burn with the need to create, yet can never be satisfied with their creations. The original Nomi from Taladas take the newly created Minoi under their wing and care for the god-cursed cousins. Now that all occurred around the year 5000 BC, but in the year 4750 the god Riorix presents the Grey Gem to the first king of the gnomes, ruler of the Spine Mountain, as a sign of favor. The ruler of the gnomes decrees that the gem should remain on Lonitari. 400 years later, the god Hiduku tricks a Minoi named Milgas Kadwar. I know, it's a very simple name. I wonder where they started to get their long and complicated names from. Anyway, he tricks him into stealing the grey gem from Lunitari. The gem breaks free from his hold and travels across the world of Kryn, transforming creatures and plants with its chaotic magic. Over a period of 250 years, the grey gem bounces around Kryn with no apparent pattern and everywhere it travels, it changes things, from birds to animals to flowers to the earth itself. It changes it all with her chaotic magic. On the year 4100 BC, the god Riorix calls upon the clan Kedwar, the clan that started it all, and it is the largest Minoi clan, to pursue the Grey Gem across the world of Kren. The Minoi reach the shores of Ancelon and become the first gnomes on Ancelon. In the same year, the Grey Gem flew over the northwestern coast of Hosk. It turned a clan of ogre farmers into the first Minotaurs. The night was named the Night of Cruel Transformation because of the horror the ogres felt from turning from their original state into a mix of man and bull. In the year 4000 PC, the gnomes are still running about Kryn trying to capture the Grey Gem. But in the land of the elves, the first Synthal Elis is conveyed, the Elven High Council, uniting all the elves under the banner of Sylvanos Goldeneye. They move from their ancestral lands to the magical land that eventually becomes Sylvanesti. Now back to the tale of the Grey Gem. In the year 3951 PC, a ruler named Gargoth is given the ability by the gods of balance to capture the grave gem, binding it between two god gems. The gnomes are livid at his audacity and they demand the return of their grey gem. And when Gargoth refuses, the gnomes lay siege upon Gargoth's keep. The gnomes eventually succeed in breaching the keep, but when they attempt to seize the grey gem, a bright grey light fills the area. When the light fades, those gnomes who had been curious about the gem are transformed into Kender, while those who lust after the gem and want it for themselves turn into dwarves. The grey gem then continues in its erratic course around Ancelon. Okay folks, we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for those who stayed until the end. There is a lot more to talk about in the time of light as it is huge and packed with major events. Next video, I'm going to talk about the first dragon war up until the second one. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.